The Stanford Robotics Center is a new experience in robotics where multidisciplinary research is brought together here in a physical space with the most advanced equipment in robotics to explore a connection between research and real-world applications. Please follow me. Here in the dance studio, we are looking at human movement. What is really special here is that we are taking those motions and reconstructing them in a robotic motion. We are studying uh, the energy consumed by the human and the energy consumed by the robot. And of course, humans are much more efficient. Let's go next to a walk in the ocean. The star of this expedition, Ocean 1K, uh, Ocean 1K is actually the only robot in the world capable of not only diving to see, but diving to do. Behind me, this is the area where we are exploring how we can deal with domestic robotics. Domestic robotics is a very challenging uh, task because the domestic environment are unstructured. Here we are going to see an example of robots making the bed. Wow. Manipulating a flexible object is very hard. And uh, this is a great performance. All right. <laughs> There's roughly 500 people doing robotics at Stanford. The center is a place where they can come together to work on bigger projects and cross lab projects. The other aspect of the Stanford Robotics Center is that we're hooked in with industry. So our industrial partners bring what's necessary to the table. The faculty are really good at understanding what's possible. When you put what's necessary with what's possible, you get something wonderful. So here we have the kitchen of the future, where robot will potentially assist and help human. Uh, cleaning the kitchen, delivering. Why don't you come with me? Well, Armour, can we have some cookies? I am going to bring you the cookies. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> so the robot is selecting the cookies among other objects, but at the same time, it's avoiding collision. Oh, Armour, thank you so much. Let me have it. Thank you. Enjoy. Here are the cookies. <laughs> In this area, we have a number of projects pursuing medical robotics, the first of which is the magnetically controlled origami robot, a micro robot that is navigating inside this small pool. And all of this is controlled by these magnetic fields here on the left, we will see how the same concept is pursued to navigate inside the human brain. Now we are going to the next room. We have uh, another challenging environment, which is the field environment. One of the first uh, projects that we see is how we service the electrical grid without having to uh, actually be there. Uh, this is uh, very dangerous for human to be on the electrical grid with high voltage. We are going to see a robot performing the cleaning. In here we have an example of robots that are going to operate on different planets, in particular Mars. This is ReachBot, a robot with extensive reach. We're looking at the new robot architectures for exploring extreme terrain, uh, such as lava tubes on Mars, or maybe uh, craters on the moon. So it's able to kind of anchor its body with several of its arms, so three of its arms in this case, while one arm kind of reaches out and can pull or push very hard on objects. Thank you again for being here uh, with us uh, as we are about to uh, launch this new center. This is a new experiment in robotics, bringing everyone who is contributing to robotics at Stanford under one umbrella with many ambitious, challenging 
a project. We are looking forward to a future where robotics will be there for us in the real world, for the planet and for people.